Good morning, folks. For those who noticed a voice change for me this week, I have strep. It hurts. I apologize for my voice and beg your understanding until I recover. No excuse to miss the news, though. And let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on our star with much of the same. We still lack any sunspots or even many points of strong surface magnetism. The southern coronal hole is still turning in, and Earth is expected to magnetically connect to her tonight. So in the deepest earthquake drought of 2019, today we set an alert for the remainder of the week. Eyes open. Now let's go to the solar wind. Phi angle and kinetic telemetries underwent minor fluctuations the last day. Phi won't leave us alone, actually. But alas, they were minor and geomagnetic conditions are still quiet. Folks, if you caught this little filament mass having its top side shoot to the right there in yesterday's news, that was indeed a stealth CME as it was released into space. Since both of these satellites look from Earth's view, it was obviously not directed at Earth. Usually, weather records are statistical, against meteorological history, but today, Manitoba power suppliers say the snowstorm effect there has left some regions with more lines and poles down than are still standing. They've never seen anything like it. It's like they're rebuilding their entire network, set records for damage and percentage lost, etc. Quick look at the polar vortices. North really is gearing up now, but still has a ways to go to overcome the south, which really should be breaking down any day now still tight. Let's go to the science news. This is the Crab Nebula. Every wavelength view we've got of it actually, and then capping off with a composite. Well, in one of Hubble's latest shot sequences, someone thought they saw a point of light moving in different spots in each of their snapshots taken, and they were right. That streaking curve is indeed an asteroid in our own solar system, reflecting our sunlight, just photobombing the crab. Speaking of rogues in the system, that new interstellar comet is surprisingly familiar. They say that when they're looking at the chemistry from the spectroscopy, rather than from the orbital parameters, they have no reason to suspect it's an interstellar comet at all. Looks right at home. The astronomy world is super excited to have found a lens arc that sits atop two very bright X-ray sources, which they take to be a tiny galaxy undergoing massive star formation billions of years ago. By the way, They don't have anything more detailed than what you see here. This is all they're using to make that conclusion. So folks, we tend to associate spiral arms with galaxies, right? When it comes to baby stars and their planetary disks, we think of rings. But they have now spotted a cosmic jet producing baby star whose disk is spiral armed as well. They don't have any grand extrapolation therefrom. They just weren't expecting to see it. Last but not least, This is one of those things that really makes you think that we have no freaking clue what's going on beneath our feet. In trying to rectify models and observations, they are toggling a 0 to 300 stable core top layer, and with the details of their analysis still being based on their best guesses from here on the surface, alas, the concept that Earth has a secret is critical to the catastrophe cycle, earthquake forecasting, and someday, long-term climate forecasting. At least they're looking in the right direction. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, provided I can talk. It's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.